Hi everybody, sorry for the technical difficulties. They happen from time to time. We did a sound check today at one o'clock, everything worked perfect. Um, you may not be here yet, so I'm just gonna play a little bit and then see once people kind of show up. Anyways, it's gonna be great to uh, play for all of you today. messing around here, um, waiting for the technical issues to be fixed. I'm now live. So if you're joining us right now, my name is Bill Kuhn. Thank you for being here. This is a Muse West concert. Um, and I'm in my uh, studio downstairs, picture of Lester Young on the back door. And uh, behind my right shoulder, You'll, you may recognize that record. Some of you might. It actually won a, um, won a Juno many years ago. And that's Fraser McPherson and Ollie Gannon. I never got to meet Fraser, but um, I, uh, I certainly did get to meet Ollie Gannon. And we've been playing together for, for many years. So that's my tribute to some West Coast jazz going on above my, my right shoulder. Um, yeah, so the, the concept today is ballads blues, and bossa. And uh, I promised everyone that uh, for the Canuck fans that I'd be ready after the game. Now, I was watching the game, but this took precedence. So I'm hoping that the Canucks won or that they're on the way to winning. We can talk about that in the chat afterwards. There's going to be a chat around 645 or maybe a little bit later than that since this, uh, this ended up being uh, later than we thought. So... Um, Welcome, welcome. I'll, I'm going to get to the music really soon. Uh, the first the first tune I'm going to play is I'm just going to start with the blues. Um, and I'm not even sure w exactly what blues I'm going to play. I want it to be sort of an open-ended uh, welcome to the show type of blues. And uh, I might even change keys somewhere in the mix. So we're going to have some fun with some blues and hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
concert put on by Muse West and yeah just gonna have some fun today playing some tunes I've been preparing uh, thinking about different songs that I can play uh, that fit the sort of the theme the blues ballads and, and bosses and of course bosses we're talking about um, Brazilian music uh, Brazilian music is a big world and so we will just tackle a small part of that wonderful big world but um, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go into something right now um, and this is called, um, not written by Jobim or actually even written by anybody from Brazil, but it's a, it's a beautiful ballad that I'm going to turn into a, a basso. This one is called Old Folks. And by the way, that was a blues in B flat that sort of um, at the end, I ended up playing a bit of um, Night Train, which uh, originally was Ellington wrote a tune called Happy Go Lucky Local, which you might be interested in checking out sometime. If you want to hear a big band sound like a like a like a train, um, and from that um, somebody else wrote the tune um, "Night Train," which I believe Oscar Peterson made pretty famous at one point. Okay, so moving on, this is a beautiful tune called "Old Folks," and I'm going to play it in a sort of a Brazilian bossa style. Thank you. 
Right, that was old folks played in a bossa style. Of course, I started out kind of slow, but eventually got into the bossa thing. Um, thanks for joining me here. Pleasure to play for you. Um, and uh, we'll get into a little chat afterwards. We can we can chat about whatever music, hockey, summer, the pandemic, whatever you want to talk about. We can chat. Um, okay, so I'm going to continue on here. Um, Oh, this is a this is a beautiful ballad actually I'm gonna play, and um, it's it's uh, my mom's birthday tomorrow, and I'm hoping that tomorrow I should be able to watch a recording of this. So I'm gonna send this out to my mom. Her name is Iris Page. Happy birthday, mom! Hope you're uh, having a really good birthday. And this uh, this tune is uh, as I say a beautiful ballad. This one's called Stairway to the Stars. Stairway to the Stars. Mm -hmm. For Iris Page, happy birthday. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
adjustment here with my strap. Pull up a bit. Um, yeah, beautiful tune. I first heard Jim Hall and Bill Evans play that tune. Some of you may know a record called um, Undercurrent. They made two duo records and a, and a quartet record together. And it, this particular one, Undercurrent, uh, is just the two of them. And it's beautiful music. It's incredible music. It's the type of of music, if you listen to it, if, if you were to orchestrate every single note of the, of the record and um, and have a, a symphony orchestra play it, it would be divine. It, it's, it's already divine, but it's just, it's that type of like perfect music where you go, yeah, I wouldn't change a thing. Um, so I'm gonna continue now. This, this is a tune that I have liked for a while and I've played it in different contexts, but if, I find that during the past few months, I've been revisiting old tunes and trying to um, try to just learn them better and try to sort of dig into them a little deeper. So part of my process here is exactly that. This one is called Wave. You may have uh, you may have heard this one before. Antonio Carlos Jobim, or Tom Jobim as they call him in Brazil, I believe. Um, hope you enjoy Wave. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. 
Just a little tiny weird thing in my uh, amplifier, little gremlin. Try to fix that. I can fix that. Excuse me, one moment. We'll see if that's any better. I hear it a little bit. Something is rattling. You know, you do the sound check in the afternoon, everything's perfect. Then you get to the gig and there's some little rattle. Um, hopefully that's not too bad. Um, I'll, I'll just um, forge ahead here, rattle or not. Um, I'm going to play a tune of mine. This is uh, not really a bossa, but it's kind of a ballad. It's written for a friend of mine. Um, her name was Benny, B-E-N-N-I. I knew her in Montreal. And um, when I heard of her passing, I heard she left the planet, um, this, this song came to me and I'd like to share it with you. Benny. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
try something else to fix it. I will try a prayer. Um, I will try anything actually to fix it. repairman or a guitar repairman. I'm just going to have to keep playing. And we'll have to deal with a little bit of weird sound coming from the guitar. My apologies for that. Um, if you got here a little later, I'm going to play later because I know there were some technical, technical difficulties, so some of you didn't join me right away. Also, some of you might have uh, shown up after the uh, Canucks game and um, I actually don't know what happened with that, but I'm sure that those of you who are interested know exactly what happened with that game. Um, so, um, yeah, I'll go a little later and we'll have a little chat. Maybe we'll have a chat around 7 o'clock, if that sounds good to everyone, instead of 6.45. Um, as you can see behind me on my left, you may recognize uh, Lester Young playing the saxophone. And then on my right, um, Vancouver's own Fraser McPherson and Vancouver's own Ollie Gannon behind him. The interesting thing about that particular record is, uh, I'm going to show it to you just a second here, so you can really see it. Yeah, for those of you who know Ollie Gannon, that's a pretty cool photo of him there. Yeah, a young Ollie. Okay, so the, the story I heard was that they showed up to the CBC to do a recording, and in those days it was a trio, so there was bass, guitar, and saxophone. But the bass player must have um, gotten the wrong date or the wrong time, and he didn't show up. So they ended up doing a record, just the two of them, Fraser on sax and Ollie on guitar. And the record was released, I guess it was our CBC radio show, but you know sometimes those things get released as actual LPs in those days. Uh, it got released and ended up winning a Juno. So that's a, that's a pretty good end to that story. You know, like there you are at the CBC studios, ready to do your gig, and somebody hasn't shown up. But the end result of that whole thing is you get um, the biggest sort of musical award that you can get in Canada. So that's pretty cool. Now I've done it. It'll never go up back up again. No, so you don't realize how much how much everything is put together with the scotch tape and glue in this place. I guess so. Okay, so we're going to continue now with another tune. Um, this is the ballad and. Uh, in keeping with our theme, the tune that I first heard uh, on a Dexter Gordon album, sorry, not on a Dexter Gordon album, on a, a, a movie called Round Midnight that Dexter Gordon starred in. 
I'm wondering if anyone has, has, has ever seen that movie. If you haven't seen that movie and you want to watch a movie about jazz, I think it comes pretty close to capturing some of the essence of that music. A lot of the, the movies about jazz are weird. I mean, there's a recent one with, about Miles Davis that kind of uh, it was not that great. There was a car chase in it and, you know, drugs. And, I mean, yeah, all this, I, I, guess, I guess car chases happen in life, but um, not really the main thing about a jazz musician's life. Um, so uh, I, think, I, I think obviously having a real jazz musician in a movie about jazz really helped. And there actually were a lot of people um, who were real jazz musicians like uh, um, John McLaughlin was in that movie and uh, Herbie Hancock and, and other people whose name I just can't remember at this moment. But uh, the star of the show was, um, was uh, Dexter Gordon and it's called Round Midnight. So that's, I first heard this tune uh, sung in that particular uh, movie. And this tune is called How Long Has This Been Going On? <laughs>
How long has this been going on? By the Gershwin Brothers, George and Ira. Uh, beautiful song. Um, yeah, so more tunes that I've got planned here. Okay, here's here's a here's a tune. It's kind of a medley, so I'm gonna put two tunes together. The first tune I think you'll you'll recognize. I'll just play it. It's it's really an old kind of folk tune. It might be one of the first guitar uh, tunes that I played on the guitar. You know, when I started playing the guitar, I um, I heard my brother play the guitar, and I would I had played piano for a bunch of years, and I got tired of, of playing the piano. I guess I was quite young. I don't know how old I was exactly, ten or eleven, twelve. And I, I heard my brother play guitar, and I went into his room one day. I picked up his guitar, and there, there was this great little booklet. It was like a really small booklet, and I, re I still remember it. It was EZ uh, Guitar Method, what, of course, written in the States, so EZ Guitar Method. I looked, I looked in there, and I, I learned a couple of chords, and I started playing, like, uh, She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain. And, and this next tune, I'm pretty sure, was in that, that book as well. Anything you could play with two or three chords. Um, so I always credit my brother with uh, the fact that I played the guitar or that I found the guitar because once I found the guitar, it was a whole different world than the, than the piano. I liked the piano, but I loved the guitar and I still do. Um, so here's uh, um, sort of a prelude to um, another tune that you're going to, you're going to know. So I'll tell you later what they are, but I think you'll recognize both of these. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I'm guessing a lot of you figured that one out. The first one was a weird reharmonization of row, row, row your boat. And uh, the second one uh, was Moon River. And so, you know, I thought that they would be nice together. Row, row, row your boat and Moon River. <laughs> That's, you know, one of these things. We, sometimes we look for connections um, between things, between uh, song titles or I think that's part of just us being human we look for connections um, and so I found one there as strange as it might seem so let's see um, we're gonna play a couple more tunes here we the royal we I'm talking about me I'm gonna play the tunes you're gonna listen like you've been doing like a great audience does and um, I just I know you're a great audience because I've met most of you before, and maybe there's some new people there that I'm going to meet on the chat. Um, I'm going to um, I'm going to play something else here. I might have been a little uh, lax on the blues. I think we've only played one thing, which would be kind of bluesy. Um, let me think about this for a moment. I've got a nice list here. I think I will play. Um, I think I'll play a bluesy tune. Or maybe it'll even be a blues. Um, this one's called uh, Brooks Works. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Gillespie wrote that tune. I called it Burke's Works. And Burke's was, uh, I believe his middle name, John Burke's Gillespie. I don't think his parents named him Dizzy. I believe that was his nickname. Uh, serious, he might have been, um, he might have been funny on the bandstand, but dead serious about the music. Fantastic musician and uh, innovator on the trumpet. Dizzy Gillespie, John Burks Gillespie. Um, okay, so one more tune to finish up here, and um, I'll tell you what it was once I finished it. I did this before. I just started playing something. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I did this, I think, um, on one of my other concerts. So I'm going to do that again. Not sure what I'm going to do. Um, it might just all fall apart, but, you know, this is jazz, so you got to improvise sometimes. <sighs> There's a lot of improvising going on today, let me tell you. Okay, so here we go. Um, this is something. <laughs> I don't mean the tune, something. I just mean it's going to be something. I'll let you know what it was. That's me.
you for being here uh, thank you for listening and uh, being part of this concert today uh, I'll figure out how to uh, you know respond to the chat that's going on if there is any chat uh, I do have some thumbs up I can see and I can see that there are people actually listening there are little heads with numbers um, I don't know who's listening yet but I'll figure that out how to do that I won't end the stream yet I'll just see if I can figure out how to uh, find the chat. Let's see now. Um, maybe not there. Hmm. Maybe, maybe uh, someone will email me and, uh, and let me know what's going on in terms of chat, or maybe there'll be no chat because I can't figure out how to do it. <laughs> well, hold on. There's how about this send feedback. I don't think that's it. Um, yeah, I don't seem to have any of that. Oh, oh, microphone. I think I just turned me off. I've got end stream and I've got the little icons there. Um, expand menu. Oh, that might help. Hmm. Okay, I don't see it. I'm just going to have to say goodbye for now until I see you next time. Thank you so much for being here and being part of this. I really, really appreciate it. Without you, it's just me alone in a room. Oh, it is just me alone in a room. Ah, uh, you know what I mean. Thanks, thanks again for being part of this. Thank you very much to Jennifer from Muse West Concerts. And um, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.